All right, so we got a 95 FD RX-7. Um, right hand drive. It's got a handful of upgrades, and I really, really want this car. I should probably mention that it's got a Blitz front mount intercooler, uh, an aluminum radiator, a uh, strut bar, as well as some intakes. This car is a lot of fun. It's tuned on about 14 pounds of boost, one bar, and the compression numbers are all good, all within like a couple PSI of each other, right around 110, which is typical. It's, it's on its second engine rebuild. It's got about 80,000 miles on it. You know, it's all fairly typical. But this car is a lot of fun to drive, especially being a right-hand drive, and it's what I refer to as kind of like a hero car. This is the first one that I've driven. Not the first one that I've seen, because you know, you see them at car meets and stuff, but it's a lot of fun. It lives up to the reputation, which is the first time in a long time that a car has actually done that. So, really nice that it's not a letdown. My foot got stuck on the lift, but it's still kind of awkward getting in and out of because, well, it's right-hand drive. Um, I should mention that this car is for sale with our dealership. The, the, uh, the owner's a cool guy. He's getting a lot of stuff fixed with us. Obviously, there are some things that need to be done to it. I don't know if you can see right here, but the center vent needs to be done. The interior on these things is pretty notoriously um, What's the right word? Cheap's not the right word. Fragile. Notoriously fragile. So, we have the HKS EBC boost controller. It looks like it's a DEFI gauge controller for the DEFI gauges, as well as a Momo steering wheel that has been replaced because the old steering wheel is very typically Japanese as far as the wear. So, the car right now is cold. I forgot to mention, it's got a full turbo back exhaust with this crazy Japanese brand. Uh, I can't read Japanese, and I don't know. But it's got a blue titanium tip and a catalytic converter. Still smells like shit, but that's the beauty of an RX-7. And the flip-ups work. It also has a Mazda Speed A-Spec front bumper, which is very Japanese. But enough of me talking about it. Let's go drive this thing. Good stuff. Hopefully that brightness adjusts. Oh no, the door's closing. Got it.
Okay. So this thing does not, I don't have a mount for my camera. But, okay, enough. Ah, yes. Which, which? That is gonna be really annoying. It's yelling at me in Japanese. Factory clutch. Put that steering wheel back on the other side where it belongs. <laughs> oh, look, here's a Mark III Supra. So the clutch engagement is pretty normal as far as manual cars go. It's got a bushing in the rear that's going bad that's getting taken care of while it's here. But let's uh, let's hear that rotary power. Whew, the sun is bright. This car is obviously still twin turbo. Just going for a short drive. That was that second turbo coming in. This car is, you know, it's really nice. And it definitely feels solid. I mean, it's a 95, it's got 134,000 kilometers on it. Not really sure what blow off valves it has, because I haven't looked at it, but wow. Can we get this brightness to adjust? Shop. I had to turn the swamp cooler off because it was making a god awful noise in the videos. Huge shout out to the owner of this car. Thank you so much for letting me drive it, work on it, kind of review it a little bit. I want to buy this car for myself. However, if one of you guys beats me to it, so be it. Anyways. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more RX-7 content, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down in the section below. And until the next week's video, you guys be safe. I'll catch you later. Peace.